In this demo, we will talk about extensibility and usability enhancements brought to the customer summary form. With the recent enhancements, customers can add custom fields to conversation entity and add them on the form. They can add Canvas apps to bring external data on the form. When agents accept the conversation, they can view fields with values already filled and can update them. Conversation forms have been renamed for better clarity and form switching has been restricted. Additionally, administrators can opt in for improved controls on active conversation form for better agent productivity. Let's dive deeper into each of these features. On accepting the conversation, the agent can view fields with pre-filled values, if they have any, and update them as required. For example, they can mention the next action items after the conversation, which is a custom field added by the administrator. They can view records related to the conversation. In this example, they can refer to the knowledge articles linked to this conversation. Now let's take a look at how administrators can also opt in for enhanced active conversation. The administrator can leverage improved controls through Customer Service Admin Center by opting in for enhanced active conversation. On accepting the conversation, the agents can view customer details using Customer 360 card and edit them if needed. They can also refer to the case linked to the conversation and edit the case details if required. For example, agents might want to increase the priority of the case if the customer requests for a quick resolution. Also, the improved recent cases control helps them visualize recent cases of the customer with color-coded information for better visibility and identification. All these controls can be configured by the administrators based on the most important and relevant information needed by the agents. If at any point of time, administrators want to switch back to the previous control, they can do so by using Power App settings. In the maker experience, they can navigate to the solution in which they want to enable or disable these settings. They can click on the solution and click on Add Existing. Click on More, Setting. Here they can search for the desired setting. They can select the setting and click on Next. And they can add the setting in the Maker Experience. Now they can select one of the settings. The flyout opens. And here they can disable the experience if they don't want to take advantage of the new controls and switch back to the previous one. They can click on override the default value by setting it to yes and clicking on save. These exciting capabilities are a part of April 2023 wave release. Thank you.